Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen and today I'm sharing with you one of my favorite beef stew recipes. This recipe is packed with amazing delicious flavors. It's a dish that is perfect for these cold winter days or any day of the week and you and your family will definitely enjoy it. First time here, you welcome Karibu Sana. So the secret to this beef stew is by slow cooking just a few ingredients that I've gathered. I'm starting from about 2.6 pounds of a top round cut of beef or just about 1.2 kilos of beef. I've cut this into these cubes about one inch or so. I'm going to sear this, which I'm going to start by salting just right here on the cutting board and adding some pepper and then go ahead and start browning them. We will start our beef stew by heating a heavy bottomed pan, adding some vegetable oil, about a tablespoon or so. Once the oil is smoking hot, we will add our beef that is already seasoned with salt and pepper. Just lay it at the bottom of the pan. We wanna give that time to brown. So after about three or four minutes or so, you wanna come in and turn the beef. So the idea is to let it uh, brown on all sides. This is a very good cut of beef for making stews uh, because it comes from the rear uh, legs of the cow that are tough muscles. So this, when you cook it so slowly, it breaks down and gives you those delicious flavors. Our beef is all nicely browned. We are going to remove it into this container. You see all that bottom of the pan right there? That is all flavor. We really need that. So into the pan straight away, we are going to add one onion. Just sweat this a little bit. At this point, we can lower the heat. Just have the onion sweat and deglaze the bottom of the pan. Once the onion have sweat a little bit, I'm going to add in carrot. That's about one cup. Season some salt and pepper. I'm going ahead and add one tablespoon of ginger a tablespoon of garlic. Give this a stir using this spoon. Add a tablespoon of tomato paste. Always let tomato paste caramelize. It gives a, a deeper flavor. Into this pan I'm going to add about two tablespoons of flour and have this cooked down. This is going to help with thickening the gravy for the stew. So we wanna cook this down a little bit. This is almost basically like making a roux. Once the flour have cooked down, I'm going to add two tomatoes here. These are two big tomatoes. So just remember cooking is all about building flavors. It's more like building a house. So you don't wanna go to the next floor before the first floor is completed. So it's the same idea. So you wanna lay the flavors gradually. Add in a tablespoon of coriander powder, a teaspoon of cumin, a half a teaspoon of chili powder, and a teaspoon of paprika. Give those this a stir. Once the tomatoes have cooked it down and everything has come together, we are going to return in our beef plus all the juices that were formed. Everything is coming together nicely. That's what you're looking for. Go in with about two cups of beef stock, or you can use water if you don't have the beef stock. 
give this a nice stir. I will cover the beef with some water. Just make sure everything is submerged. Add a tablespoon also of Worcestershire sauce. I'll add a couple sprigs of thyme, a sprig of rosemary, two bay leaves, and then I have some green peppers. I'm going to add them in. Give everything a nice stir. Bring the pot to a boil. Then lower the heat, cook this for about an hour, and then we'll come back, add the potatoes, cook for another 15 minutes, and then finish with some frozen peas. But just before we cover, a good stage to season this with salt and pepper. The beef stock has no salt, so you definitely need salt. So look, my pan has been boiling here for about 20 minutes or so. I've just opened to check, which is usually what you want to do when you are cooking. Just open your dish and have a look at it, see what is going on in there. One thing I've realized is that this is not the consistency that I'm looking for at the end. At this point, basically this is what you'll get at the end. I want it slightly thicker. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to raise the heat here a little bit. And then I have a big strainer. Into this strainer, I'm going to pour some flour. See what is happening? You're getting the flour strained into your pot without forming any lumps. So, and there you go. We've just thickened our gravy slightly more and any lumps formed are left into our sieve that we can throw out. So we'll bring it back to a boil and continue cooking. So it's been an hour. Our stew has been slowly bubbling. Look, I'll go ahead now and add the potatoes. This is about three large Idaho or russet potatoes. You can use any potatoes. Give this a nice stir. At this point, we can pull out the thyme. They've done their job. Some salt and pepper. I will cover this, cook it for about 15 minutes until the potatoes are done, the beef finishes cooking, and then we'll finish up with our frozen peas. So it's been 15 minutes or so, time to check our potatoes here. That's all we need. This looks good, nice and soft. So all I need to do now, add about a half a cup of frozen peas. I will fold in some cilantro at this point also. Fresh, nice and flavor. Beef stew is coming together, remember, Peas don't take long. All I need to do is just fold them in, turn off the heat, and the residual heat will cook the peas through. I will take out the rosemary sprig here that was left over. I'll take out the bay leaves. So there you have it, my friends, my favorite beef stew that I usually love to make. A perfect dish to make during this winter. Just serve it over a bowl of rice with a chapati. Fill a bowl here. Finish with just some cilantro and you. I'll give this delicious beef stew a taste. Mm. Mm. Mm, that's so delicious. So there you have it, my friends. The beef is nice and tender. The flavors have come through nice and thick gravy. A 
perfect warming dish that you can enjoy any day of the week. If you, if you are looking for a recipe to try, there you have it. So thank you very much for watching this one. I will see you in the next one. Just remember to subscribe to my channel, comment, like it, and watch more of my videos. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.